After nearly 30 years in government, Senator Karen Carter Peterson suddenly announced she was resigning from her position in the Louisiana legislature today. That resignation takes effect at about two hours after midnight. That's nearly two years before her term is supposed to end. And as Meg Ferris reports, the announcement came in a statement with Peterson saying she wants to focus on her mental health. Tonight, people are remembering Karen Carter Peterson as one of the most powerful Democrats in the state. They say they remember her passion over early childhood education issues as well as women's issues. But they're also calling her brave for talking about her personal mental health problems. Before Karen Carter Peterson gave the prayer to open Thursday's legislative session, she read a very personal statement. As many of you know, I've suffered with depression and a gambling addiction for many years. What you may not know is that over the last few years, I've participated in and successfully received inpatient and outpatient treatment for depression and addiction. But even with that on the record, her resignation surprised some who have known her for decades. I wish her well, but there's not a single family in this state that is not going through some kind of issue. It took a lot of strength for her to come this far, but it also took a lot of inner strength for her to talk about this to her colleagues. They say she accomplished many leadership roles in the state legislature that and in the Louisiana the and National what, Democratic um, Party because she understood the importance that, of uh, relationships. She came up at a time when relationships were what mattered most, and that's not the way that game is played anymore. Just watching her go to the mic and interact with other people across the aisle, Republicans and Democrats and independents, she was, she was a master at it. Carter Peterson said in her public statement she was in a robust recovery program and had been off the bet for a long time. So it's unclear why the sudden resignation. But she did say she hopes her openness and courage would help others. I want you to know that this addiction and this disease is insidious. Many people suffer from it. It's the highest rate of suicide of all addictions. And research shows that compulsive gambling can often be accompanied by other brain illnesses, including other types of addiction, bipolar, OCD, and ADHD. And we have on our website some places where you can call and get help. Reporting from New Orleans, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.